All right, guys, welcome to the Chelsea Fan Channel. This is our post match view where Chelsea have just won at the bridge in the first game after the international break against Leicester 3 0. Um, you guys, I, there's nothing else terrible to say, really. It was a brilliant game, uh, a clean sheet. I think our new formation's working so well for us. Uh, highlights for me would probably be Victor Moses. I thought he, I, th I just think he's a, a brilliant team player, makes all the difference. Uh, although Leicester's defending, especially I think from Wes Morgan, he made quite a, a crucial error at the start with Diego. Um, yeah. Overall, you know, we brilliant. Yeah, I'm over the moon. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. You come back, you haven't been at the, you haven't seen uh, you know domestic football for two weeks you miss it so much you come back the sun's out you win 3-0 you play a perfect game uh, yeah cloud nine really really over the moon uh, I, I think I will, I will, at some point in this I'm going to come back and talk about Nathaniel Chaloba because I thought his contribution really was incredible but it's an N'Golo Kante isn't it he's just yeah. everywhere everywhere I thought it was quite unfair of Leicester fans to boo him, really. I think Dan said they were you know, booing, booing him slightly, but to be fair, like it's, it's not really it's not really fair. He's only the league, guys. And I, like I said, in the transfer window, we didn't have the best window, but I really felt like, you know, with him, he was sort of going to be our saviour, and he's really doing well for us, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. He's unplayable, and he's just everywhere. And I think the, th the important thing to note about him is not only is he so good at the stuff, you know, the stuff that we know he's good at, the interceptions, the running, the tackling back, all of the all of the donkey work, the sort of non-footballing part of football. He's excellent at the footballing part, not so good at the finishing, I concede, but excellent at, you know, he lays a ball off well, he played he played a brilliant little assist in that could have yeah. resulted in I a goal. I feel like he's a very, like, he's very silent, like, you know, one of those silent, like, you know, it. yeah, you, like, you don't know he's there, but he really is, like, the key. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, I want to talk about um, David Luiz. Yes. I, I feel like I was, I was watching it. I was thinking, oh my god, that free kick! I thought that's a sign to more to come. And then, then he sort of did like some sort of uh, acrobat. Yes. And then he nearly scored an own goal. It's sort of, um, I mean, you got to love him, love him. Oh, I love him. You I know, love the bloke. You got to love him, but you know, he, he makes you nervous, doesn't he? In a good way, I suppose. <laughs> look, look, I... I think, I think it's very easy to, for people to knock Louise, and I think a lot of the time people are looking for the excuse to knock him. I'm convinced that there's a certain <laughs> sector of sort of online fans who have a tweet composed, ready to send, yeah. of some sort of like mocking, uh, mocking thing, mocking vine of, of David Louise. I think that he, he played he played pretty well today. You know, he, he marshaled a back line. It's a, it's not it's not ideal company for him. You know, Aspilicueta's learning a new position. Uh, Gary Cahill's not a master of his position, and Thibaut Courtois hasn't been on good form. So it's not easy for somebody like David Louise to play there and play well and I think he did look at it, if you look at that look I think he marshaled the back line very very well it was a, you know we didn't concede a goal so that was fine but it was a ball over the top if you look at that ball that he played over the top um, he's the only defender you know there's, there's there's probably five defenders in the world who can play that ball yeah. who can even see that ball exactly. so so that, let's not knock him he's a good player no definitely not I mean to be fair as well guys I think since he's left the Premier League the Premier League has changed dramatically <laughs> since yeah. he's, he's returned so he's probably still trying to find his feet and you can tell he's obviously practicing his free kicks and trading I think that's what he's doing anyway um, and I think it's only a matter of time before we see that brilliance like his goal against Fulham and things like that I think that's all to come very very soon what are they doing Dave. David um, <laughs> all right then so yeah guys we're gonna see you at Man United um, oh, oh, do you want to discuss you want to discuss we need to just talk about the brilliance of Nathaniel Chaloba because that was outrageous. That really was outrageous. It was one of the best. It was one of the best assists I think I've, I've certainly seen this season. It was so clever uh, to, to have the audacity. That's his first game at Stamford Bridge. Yeah. To have the audacity to, to try that on your home debut really is a hallmark of a fantastic player. And when you think, I watched England play in Slovenia the other day, and there wasn't a semblance of creativity. There was nothing there. Is he the key to that? Should Southgate be getting him in? Because if he's a player, if he's a player who can do that. We, we need to be cult cultivating him and getting him playing in the first thing because he was marvellous. I think, to be fair now, it's, it's got to the point where it's sort of like it's, it's so hard for youngsters to get into a Chelsea team or even to just to break through in general that I feel like they're probably coming on now thinking, you know what, I'm just going to like completely risk it because that's better than just, play, you know, trying to play it safe because, you know, he's more likely to get him if he does stuff like that. And yeah. then it's obviously paid off, hasn't it? I love the boy. I love him. And it, that was excellent. You know, he, he has definitely given our manager and Gareth Southgate something to, to think about with that assist. Purely incredible. Exactly. Right, guys, we're going to see you for Man United. It's a massive game and going to be uh, a bit of sweet for me, but, you know, 90 minutes of football and I'm very excited about it. Rory's not even paying attention. See you <laughs> later, guys.